All right, so I am moved to speak again. I'm at the ABC store. I said, Lucy, five cents. It's an apothecary within reasonable spirits can be very good for you. Um, there's a lady though that came in today and I said, how are you? And she said, not good. And I said, what's going on? She was buying thing of Hennessy and she said, my son has been um, not expelled, but suspended for two weeks twice for fighting in school. And I could tell this lady didn't have a lot of money kind of by her teeth that she, she was struggling. And um, I said, didn't they get y'all counseling? And she said, no. I said, well, I said, look, I said, my son also was suspended. I said, but we got him counseling and I was in counseling because um, I could tell, you know, he was fighting what I don't think my son got in trouble for fighting, but um, maybe a little bit. So I said, you know, your son might have a chemical imbalance. He may need to see a psychiatrist, a counselor. But she definitely needed some support beside buying Hennessy. And that's the state's responsibility. You don't just throw a kid, throw a kid? Throw a kid out of school with no means of, of trying to get better? Huh. No. No, that kid needs help whether he's going to be a plumber or a construction worker or a genius um, philosopher. You don't know, but you don't throw a child out of school onto the street. And then what are they going to learn? And then the parents dumbfounded. They don't know what to do. So you're making the whole family have a headache. And society, if that kid gets in trouble and goes to prison, it's going to cost us a lot of money. So you do art therapy at the schools and let them do some of their work that they can do or you put them in a hospital or juvie but you get them help you don't just throw a kid and suspend them out of school that, that doesn't solve anything how can people be so stupid this is like Kevin Klein and a fish called Wanda stupid don't call me stupid but everybody can see stupid don't throw kids out of school Give them a place. Give them a, like, um, at Central State, we had, like, the, the warm room. It was, like, the cozy room. And if the people felt like they needed a break, they could go into the cozy room and, and relax and, and have some downtime. School can be stressful. Life, families can be stressful, especially if you're poor. Say you're homeless. You don't know. Maybe the dad's around. Maybe the dad's not. Maybe the wife has addiction issues. You don't know. Every family's got problems. So face the facts. You've got a whole classroom of family issues. And you want the teacher to handle it without a whole lot of ability to do art therapy with them? And your schools do not have an art therapist? You are going to have problems educating people that have psychiatric issues. And everyone's got them one in five. Right, Cray? One in five. So if you've got a classroom of 25 people, and I'm not much of a mathematician, you've got five people with psychiatric issues in, in the mix coming along. So there you have it. So you've got to treat those people. You can't just push them under the carpet. That's not going to work.